I say history is a lie, I mean his story is a lie. What you know about Australia? Oh my days. So, according to the official narrative, the first settlement at Sydney consisted of about 850 convicts and the Marine Guards and officers, led by Governor Arthur Phillip. They arrived at Botany Bay in the first fleet of nine transport ships accompanied by two small warships in January 1788. So let me see if I got this straight. You're trying to tell me by the 1800s, those ex-convicts and marines went on to build buildings like this with just a hammer and chisel. And it wasn't just a one building flats. It was a whole city. What? Let me see if I got this straight. The official narrative said this is the first building made in 1793. And you're trying to tell me that they went from this to buildings like this in what, 50, 60 years? No power tools, just horse and a wagon. This photo is from 1804, just over 20 years after the first settlers arrived, who were ex convicts and military men. And the building, fully complete. I'm gonna have to do a three part series on this because I ain't finished with Australia yet. You think you know about Australia? You don't know nothing about Australia. Let's talk about Melbourne. So, according to the official narrative, Melbourne was founded in 1835. But we know, anytime they use the word founded, it means something was already there. This was the APA building, which was the tallest building at the time. They say it was built in 1888, but guess what? They ripped it down. I wonder what they had to hide. And this was the Federal Coffee Palace, also built in 1888 and again it got demolished it's a bit much for a bit of coffee if you ask me but what's that i see is that windows half buried in the ground it looks like a mud flood building to me and what about the parliament house building built in 1856 422 foot long 256 feet high 150 foot dome the largest block of basalt weighed 6.9 tons and this was all built in less than a year with just a hammer and a chisel and in the middle of all this genocide digging for resources to build these buildings you had time to have a world fair come on brother and again you don't see no construction photos all you see is a couple of men standing around looking lost i'm gonna have to do a part three to this because i ain't done with australia yet do you want to hear something strange about Australia. Yeah? Well, that's good. That's real good. Let's listen to someone that's actually from there and hear what they've got to say. So we've got this like amazing world where we've arrived and we have the engineering abilities, the amazing architectural design, the amazing industry that supports these engineering feats to make these extraordinary buildings, gigantic buildings in all directions, everywhere you look in Melbourne, gigantic, magnificent, highly engineered structures, none of them included bathrooms, toilets, plumbing, kitchens, and probably even bedrooms that we're not talking, we don't know about that. But like, yeah, basically all of the basic needs one would have as a human being in current form. Yeah, and, and they built the whole city. Then they went, oh, maybe we should put a sewer system.